Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing purchase orders, how to create them, how to send them to your vendors, and also how to track all those orders after the fact. Now there's actually two ways that you can create purchase orders within your Design Files account. So if you go into any of your projects, the first option is that you can go to your project nav, go directly to the PO section here, and then you can just click this button to create a purchase order from scratch. But before we jump into this option, I want to show you a much faster option. So one of the things about design files is that if you've created any quotes or any invoices that you've submitted to your client, you can actually take those and generate purchase orders directly from those documents and the system will do it automatically for you. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump into the invoice section here and I'm going to use one of my invoices as an example. So let's say we're going to use this invoice right here. My client has already paid for it. So if I'm ready to move forward with placing the order, the fastest and easiest way for me to generate POs is to go into this button with the three dots and I can create POs from the invoice right here. So if I click this link, it's gonna open up this panel and it's gonna show me all the vendors that, I, that were included within that invoice. And I can see all the products and I can see the subtotals. And if I wanna generate purchase orders for all three of these, I'm just gonna click the checkbox right here and then click the button to create the purchase orders and the system will do it for me. Now you can see here that it's uh, added these three purchase orders now to my PO section. And if I just wanna quickly review these documents before I send them out to my vendors, I can just go into this button over here with the three dots and I'm gonna edit the purchase order. That's gonna take me into the templated view where I can review the details and make any edits that I wanna make. So here you can see that my client's name has been pulled in. We've got the vendor pulled in as well and the order ID and account number. We've got the issue date over here. And if you know what the total shipping costs are gonna be, you can go ahead and you can add them in. Now up here, you're also going to see linked documents. So this is basically telling you that this purchase order is linked to this invoice. And the same thing would show if there were any quotes that were also tied to this document. So it just kind of helps you keep organized. Now below that, you can see that we've got all of the individual items pulled in and the system has pulled in all the product information along with it. So I don't have to spend the time to add those details myself. You can see a small image of the product, the product name, SKU, dimensions, and material and finish. And over here, we've got the unit price, quantity, and totals. Now there is a separate section here or a column, I should say, where you can add in additional notes if you want to add that. And if you want to indicate room here, you can do that as well. Um, so you can just use those fields if needed. And then down here at the bottom, you can absolutely add in additional products if you want to. So if you felt like there was another item that you wanted to include, just click on add products. That's gonna open up this panel here. Now, the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we're selecting which vendor we're pulling from because this is a bow concept purchase order. So I'm gonna narrow down by vendor to bow concept products, and then I can add any of these additional products into my purchase order if I want to. All I have to do is click the checkbox next to the item and then add it in. Now, once you've added in all of your products down here at the bottom, you'll see that there is a larger note field. So if there's something more that you want to discuss with the vendor, or if there's key details that you just want to make sure they're aware of, you can add it in here. You can also add additional documents. So if there's anything else you want to send along with the PO, you can add them here. And then over here on this side, you'll see that there is an option here to apply a sales tax rate, but typically you would not be adding a sales tax to your purchase order. Normally you would bill your client for these products and you're going to apply the tax to the products when you're invoicing your client. That way your client covers the tax. But if there are scenarios where you do need to apply a sales tax to your purchase order document, you can of course select a sales tax from this drop down menu. And if you haven't added any yet, you can add a sales tax and then select it. Now you also do have a checkbox here if you are going to be applying a sales tax to it and if you do need to tax shipping costs you can check this box on if you need to otherwise leave it off. Once you have covered all the details for your purchase order the next thing you can do is you can save it as a draft and preview it just so you can see what the document will look like. So we'll click this button right here and then you'll see the detailed breakdown of this document. Your logo will appear, will appear up here, not the Design Files logo. So everything's always branded to your business. And you'll see your company details and then the details for the purchase order right here, followed by the breakdown of the items that you're ordering. 
Now, when you send this out to your vendor, they will actually have the ability to download the purchase order as a PDF as well. So they can look at it from the digital view here and they can also just download the document if needed. So if you're good to go, if you feel like your purchase order is all set and all the details are great, you can exit out of that preview mode and you can go down to the bottom here where you're gonna send the PO to your vendor. If I click this button, it's gonna open up this panel and you can see that my vendor's uh, email address or the rep that I'm working with, their email address has already been pulled in. So if you added your vendors to your contacts list within design files, anytime you create purchase orders for them, those details will automatically be pulled in. And of course you can add in any new recipients if you need to. You can add in your own subject line, you can add in your own message, and you can even send yourself a copy and you can send this purchase order out to your vendor. And when you do that, any purchase orders that you create within design files, they are automatically added to your product tracker right here. And this will give you one location where you can track all the orders that you have on the go. You can expand these at any time. If you've gone ahead and placed an order for a particular set of items, you can come into this uh, tracker. You can click into the field here to list the date that you placed this order on. So I'm just gonna click this checkbox here to apply this date to all the items within this order. And then I can select the date that I placed the order on. And as my vendor follows up with me and tells me that they shipped the product, I can again come back in here and say, okay, great. The products were actually shipped on this date. And I can follow through on those steps all the way through to installed. By doing this and leaving any additional notes for any of these scenarios, it means that you can have one location where you're gonna be able to easily come in and see the status of all those products for for any of the orders that you have on the go for this project. And it means that your team members also have access to this content. All right, so that basically covers the purchase order process within design files. If you do have any questions about it, or if you just wanna to talk to us about understanding some of the functionality a little bit more, always reach out on the live chat. We are here to help. Thanks so much for watching.